local CBS News medical contributor, Dr. David Agus, joins us now with the latest medical developments. David, good morning. Just a few days ago, the uh, CDC released new sets of guidance on reopening places like workplaces and schools. A lot of us are waiting on bated breath for this. What's your takeaway? Good morning, Michelle. You know, originally it's reported the CDC put together a 63-page report that had details of every step for opening schools, for summer camps, for businesses, for restaurants. And then uh, this week out came a report with literally just headlines. And the headlines were accurate. There was just no details of what to do. And I'm worried. I'm worried that many states don't have the public health experts to give the real expertise get down and dirty with the details. The details matter. With details, we're gonna do things safely and efficiently and be able to open the country without significant numbers of cases and spread of the virus. But the details were lacking from the CDC report this week. And they were revamped, as, as uh, you pointed out earlier as well. This week, the FDA asked, or has also cautioned the public about a popular rapid results test. What should folks at home know about the type and the quality of tests out there right now? So they were warning about the Abbott test, and the Abbott test is a very quick, what we call isothermal. So it's not PCR, but it's a different way to amplify DNA. Five minutes for positive results, 11 minutes for negative results. There was a study from NYU which said maybe there's more false negatives. It's not as good this test. The company has said that the NYU did it wrong and there's some methodology issues. What I do know is that every test has false negatives. It's not because necessarily the technology is bad, but it's because there may not be virus in the nose and the mouth when you put a swab in. You know, we do it there because that's where droplets come out, but they may be elsewhere in the body at a very low level. And so it's in a sense, not the technology's fault, but the biology. And so we're never gonna get a test that will tell us 100% if there's virus if we're only looking in those two areas at the present time. Wow, well, with more states reopening for business, we seem to be shifting strategies from that containment to mitigating risk. How can we be successful with that strategy? Do prevention methods change? Right. Yes, is the answer. Um, you know, we're taking more risk, right? We're accepting the risk because we've delayed the virus in a significant fashion by what we've all done across the country. We have two drug regimens that have been shown to work. Our medical infrastructure is ready and we're educated on social distancing and masks. Masks are the key. This virus is spread by droplets. If we wear a mask, we will not spread droplets to other. So to me, it is just so critical that we all step up. It's not just okay if you wear a mask, but your neighbor has to also when they go out of doors. If we all do it together, we're gonna have a very safe period over the next several months with few numbers of cases. If we don't, I am worried about what's going to happen in terms of the number of cases with the virus in the country. And we're all hoping that we can keep those numbers down. Dr. David Agus, thank you so much.